everyone! Today we are going to answer backend questions which can be really, really useful in your future backend developer career. So, let's start from the question about... And before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button below this video and to turn on the notification so you know for sure about the next questions and to give us thumbs up and leave a comment. Let's talk about relational databases. What is relational database? It's an organized collection of data where data can be related together in a certain point of each tables. So, a relational database are often built on the tables and each table consists of rows and columns. Columns have data attributes and rows assign the value to each of these data attributes. Every row has a unique identifier and most often its ID. In the relational databases, we can keep thousands or millions of records. To store, read, update or delete data from relational database, we use SQL and it's really sim similar by syntax to a plain English, so it's rather easy to use. Relations in a relational database are created by the way how data interact together. Let's take a look for the image on the screen right now and then we can see the example of table models. There are three table models connected to each other by the relations. So we can see the users table, the posts table and the comment table. Users and posts are connected together by ID. And the outer ID in the post model is the ID of the user table. Also, the user ID of the comment model is the ID of the user table and the post ID of the comment model is ID from the post table. This is how it's connected together and what it brings to us developers that we can easily take data of, for example, user to our post without duplicating it and saving it in our post table. Now, let me explain what is relational database management system. It's a software that allows us to create, update and manage our database data. The most popular ones are MySQL and it's very often used with PHP websites because it's integrated with WordPress. The other very popular one is Oracle DB and this one can handle millions and tons of data and it's very often used in banking. And the other one very popular is PostgreSQL. It's an open source database and it's very inexpensive, but it can have a little bit worse performance than, for example, Oracle. The biggest advantages of using the relational databases is that our data can be sorted very easily and then it's easy to query filtered data, which we actually need in this moment. Uh, the other thing is data accuracy, so the data is accurate, we don't have to duplicate anything and we can keep just the needed data and then relate between each other. Another thing is the security because we can set access to the database only for certain users. And the last thing is that it's flexible so we can query even a little bit more complicated queries. Based on these benefits, we can easily say that selecting the relational database is a great idea when we have a transactional application with lots of organized and structured data. Thanks for watching. Bye!